everyone and welcome back to another installment of the viral podcast i'm your host chelsea lynn and i'm your host Paige jen welcome back to another wonderful week of the program here we thank you guys for sticking around with us and just listening to us thank you thank you thank you thank you yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> nice thank you <laughs> thank you let's go around and everyone go just saying thank you yeah in the way that you want and everyone has to do it okay Okay. and this is a little thank you to the people listening this is our thank you who wants to go first brett or should we and show them how or what 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 do you think i'll go okay go maggie okay (gasps) thank you yeah that was good hell yeah okay brett thank you Ooh. yeah Brett sing. Chelsea is so mad. Brett sing. <laughs> Thank Brett. you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You <clears throat> go, Chelsea. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I got some Mariah Carey vibes. Whoa. Oh okay. fuck. It page. Thank you. Yeah. That was a good yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Suck on my dick and lick my titties. I'm burning. Y'all, we, I, I guarantee you half the people that started this pod have already clicked out by now. <laughs> uh, oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. And um, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that this Thursday and Friday, I will be doing shows in Richmond, Virginia. And then Saturday, I'll be in Charlestown, West Virginia. Hope to see you there. Ooh, good times fun. Good times fun. And uh, I say we get into it. Yeah, let's just get on into it. Okay, let me, let's me let get into it. And I'm going to announce this week's Rock Fucker of the Week. And that is Stephanie Rainer. <laughs> Stephanie. <clears throat> woo, woo, woo. Your rock fucker of the week, honeys. Congratulations. Congrats and thank you, most importantly. Big time. Thank you, everyone, for their support. And um, I, listen, we were talking. And ta- uh, Maggie will. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maggie's mm-hmm. going to message you and get your t shirt size and your address, and we will get you a piece of merch, uh, exclusive rock fucker of the week uh, piece of merch sent to your home. Okay? For you to wear and just enjoy. So keep commenting, everybody. Keep giving us clout. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to take over the world. Okay. I've had so many messages that say, hey, I'm on board to take over the world with you guys. I'm helping. I'm downloading. It's oh, fucking they're, funny. They're doing it with us. We cannot take over the world by ourselves. Seeing the messages, though, and then I wrote on a post like, yeah, dude, I can't wait to take over the world. <laughs> like, imagine not knowing what we're even talking about. Like, who the fuck do these people think they are? Well, I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> I know. We don't even know what a download does. We're, to we, be honest, we, we really li- don't. We literally don't know. And we never look into it. We say this every podcast and we never even look into it. That's what's funny about it. We're taking over the world just by being here and y'all being here right now. We don't know what we're talking about when we say, hey, let's take over the world. We technically are in this moment. In a way, just, you're influencing the world. You know, you know how they say, like, uh, you post a video if you someone saves it and shares it or something like that that's more you'll get more views mm. rather than, that's true yeah. i never heard that you mean like spread the spread the word yeah well, i mean like if you post something on instagram if they save it hmm. that's like the most points for you I, if they oh, share yeah. it to people for like, out for your algorithm oh, I, yeah. they say if people like save your stuff that it like helps your algorithm i don't yeah. know so. saving well, that's weird because what's the point in saving i know to take I over know. the world yeah, I guess so. Us. Make sure you save it. Yeah, so go ahead and start saving. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. People kidding. are like, damn, I only have 10 gigabytes. <laughs> hey, no, we are kidding, honeys. Um, I We were talking before the pod. We're excited to, pay tr- to play trivia all today. So should we get into that, page? Yeah, let's hop in. Get, get trivia. Get trivia. Uh, get trivia. Get trivia. Oh, fuck me. Uh, get trivia. Trivi. Get trivia. Uh, 
Love me a good trivial question. And here we go. I am starting the wheel with the first question of trivial. Pop culture yellow. Pop culture. Pop culture yellow for the first question of trivial. Yeah. Good job. Paige, you paying attention? Yeah, you did good. Me. He needs you to- worry about yourself, bro. He needs you to tell him he did good. Good job, Brett. Okay, here we go. Which singer holds the most Grammy nominations? Oh, gosh. Let's just say Taylor Swift. No. Hold on. Let me guess, Brett. He's about to... Brett, don't nod your head or do anything. I know. Both answers are approved. <laughs> I'm going to say it's someone from the 90s. Wait, on Brett to nod or not. Someone from the 90s. Someone like either like Mariah Carey or... Um, Brett, close your eyes. Brett, let me guess, okay? And lean back and go to bed. <laughs> Brett, just go ahead and go to bed. We'll be there tucking in. in a <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to guess Whitney Houston or uh, someone like that. Yeah. You're on the right track. I, um, Is it Celine Dion? Oh, but someone, who could it be? Could it be Reba? No. Okay. Is it, um? oh, Pop. I bet it's, it's Pop, huh? Yeah. Pop. Beyonce. Let me know. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Beyonce. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. I knew it was female for some reason. I knew it was female and I knew it was a powerhouse voice. Yeah. Yeah. I say we don't get that though. I say it has to be our first answer. You think? But can I, I can't brainstorm out loud before I guess? She's trying to take uh, it from you. <laughs> well, you would say that those first ones weren't your um, answers? Well, you got me because I was guessing them and I was looking at Brett to see his reaction. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh. X, 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 Extension here Green. We go. I've been wanting to do this one. All right. So, oh, boy. Um, the New York Times is a story on a man with the world's largest penis. Oh, Ron Jeremy? His name oh. was Johan, or let's say Johan Falcon. I don't know. But how many inches does his penis measure? 14. Uh, 17. It's thirteen point five, oh, but if you round up, I don't know. God, I was close. Yeah. That's the longest. I thought Ron Jeremy was pulling seventeen. God, his I've seen his dick. It's not that big. It's not. I never seen and, it. And uh, eight I mean, inches diameter. It's wait, it's, eight inches thick? Full? Yeah, that's a pipe. eight inch thick, thirteen and a half long. Eight what? inch thick. You're looking. You're looking at at <laughs> that thick. I mean, he, that's, that's he wouldn't like, be able to fuck nothing. No. Oh, oh my. Need a spotter. Oh, wow. You would need a big hole. See, I wouldn't want that size wiener no. in my bed. Uh-huh. I, I wouldn't. In my bed. In we'll my go bed. ahead and give that to you. Yeah. Thank Thir- you. 13 yeah. works. Yeah. Thank you, Maggie. All right, here we go. Alaska, green Alaska. Here we go. Alaska. Okay. Okay. Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds starred in this hilarious... A proposal or whatever. Good job. Whoa. Job. I got a fucking movie question. That's... I can't something's look, wrong. can't believe I that. Can know that. I know. All right, here we go. That's like the only one I've watched. You always get what that What happened in Vegas? What happened in Vegas? Here we go. What happened in Vegas? Okay. Red... Elvis began his residency in 1969, playing 837 shows in a span of seven years. Which hotel did... International. The fuck? (laughs) fuck? I knew you would know that. Anything Elvis, Chelsea. All right. I don't know shit about Elvis. Okay. Oh, it's you, huh? It's my turn, bitch. Here we go. SNL purple. Purple. S N L dark purple. Thank you. Here we um, go. <clears throat> who was the first person to say live from New York? It's Saturday night. Oh, I don't know. Let's just say Regis. Oh man, was I it, feel like you know this. Was it Lorne Michaels? Who the hell is that? He's the he's the creator of S N L. I figured he does that sometimes. He was known for fake falling. Oh, Chevy. Chevy Chase. Huh. Ha. Ha. Gotcha. <laughs> no. Gazy fallen. <laughs> All right. This, Maggie. <laughs> All right. So, one, last one. Oh, yeah. Three. Here we go. 
conspiracy theories. Dark purple. Purple. Okay. Here we go. Many believe Apollo 11 didn't happen, that the moon landings were fugazi. In what year did the alleged moon landing take place? 69. Everybody! Boom, 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 boom. It feels so good when you get one. You're like, oh, yeah. For real. Did you smell? You, you smell. You feel so fucking smart. Oh, I feel like I'm smarter than everyone in this fucking room when I get one. And when I get one quick, I'm like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> and fuck everybody listening. Right. Even though y'all probably, what if you knew that too? It doesn't matter. Oh, they probably, there's probably some people who listen who know all of it. Yeah. There's people who know all those Jeopardy questions. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right. That's amazing. Good times. I feel like for trivial, we should start making it like, um, I don't know, more of a competition of like if whoever wins or like Brett was saying like an ongoing tally even or just like like something we have to do maybe, you know. Like if I win, you got to lick my butthole. Bob for apples. Like a little dare, like we should make up a dare sheet or something and then each time we'll have to do something. I don't know. I'm down for that. Maybe the... Maybe the listeners can come up with something or yeah. a better idea. I don't know. Send us a message. How can we improve trivial? Because we know y'all love the song. We know you love the game. Is there a way we could, um, you know, g- improve trivial? Let us know. Give us a call. Maybe it's the call. Sli- like we smack each other across the face. Right. That'd be great. All right. Brett, I don't know if you're in the mood or not, but if you're willing to talk, you can go ahead and lean forward. Brett. So I was talking to my dad earlier, and I was like, oh, Dad, I really love these sunglasses that you found on the side of the street or wherever, you know? And I'm like, where, where did you get them again? He's like, oh, I found them in the Lost and Found in Littleton, Colorado. I'm like, oh, I thought you said you just found them somewhere. He's like, no, I just, I went to the Lost and Found, and I was, you know, they lost it, and <laughs> I found it. I'm like, oh, whoa. I mean, see, seems like a pretty good idea. You know, I don't know. Lowe's. <laughs> um, needed to go to Lowe's the other day. And what I thought was interesting is when I went on their uh, website, you know, you can't ever kind of find something. It'll actually show you the item that you want, the bay and aisle. So it's it's right there. You just go get it. Um, Benadryl is actually also Unisom. I don't know if you guys knew that. Unisom's a sleep aid. Benadryl's... Brett, this is your dad. Time's up. Lean back. Oh, man, that was a long minute. <laughs> Time was up. So your dad stole from the lost and found. <sighs> Damn. Is it stealing to steal from the lost and found? Well, what if they came back and was looking for those glasses? Yeah, it's not a free-for-all. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was pretty fun. I thought he found these. They do look great, though. Thanks. What? I love them. I tell Thanks. him all the time, I'm going to throw those things away. <laughs> I love them. Dude, you can throw them, and they'll explode oh put it back together are they oakley's i think they're folkley's yeah stop it's got the o well i mean those are expensive no i don't think these are the uh expensive, expensive ones. ones still i like them i had fake oakley oakley's once like the o was a little smudged yeah so. oh my god wow. that's something yeah. i can't really splurge on sunglasses because i'll lose them and i hate wearing sunglasses i'd rather just squint yeah squint and turn i've know. had the same stop. pair of sunglasses for like Five years. Yeah. Real, you keep track of them? Mm-hmm. And, damn. They're the best ones I've ever had. Damn. And you wear them? Every day. I can't drive without them. Sunglasses you, don't not. look good on me. They don't look good on me. And the one pair that I found that looked good on me, I splurged, spent like $300 on them. They got fucking stolen from my car in L.A. Damn. when my car got broken into. I was so pissed. I think my that's where my cameras went to. Mm-hmm. Damn. Anyway, that sucks. Good times. All right, hey everyone, is everyone ready to do what? To do what? Roll <laughs> that beautiful bean footage. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. 
Next Evo Naturals is the most clinically studied CBD brand and their Smart Sorb technology can help you get a better start to the year with products like their Stressed CBD Complex. Anytime I'm feeling overwhelmed, I just pop a stress gummy. It has a great flavor and I honestly pop them daily and feel great. They keep me calm as a cucumber. And dude, whenever I have a lot going on, I, I tend to get I tend to get a little stressed there. Not gonna lie. And these things save the day. Stress CBD complex has both smart sorb CBD and a patent whole plant ashwagandha. Clinically proven to reduce stress by up to 70% and improve concentration by 50%. Wow. That's awesome. You guys, please don't just use any CBD brand. Most CBD brands on the market right now have 2 to 10% absorption. So about 90% is wasted. And who wants to waste stuff you're buying and trying to use? It just doesn't make sense to me. Next Evo is different. It delivers four times better overall CBD absorption and has been proven in multiple clinical studies. Not just one, I said multiple. Make CBD a part of reaching your full potential with Next Evo Naturals. Go to nextevo.com slash podcast and use promo code viral to get 20% off your first order of $40 or more. That's 20% off $40 or more at nextevo.com slash podcast with code viral hey honeys weed nut story here so i live in a state like tennessee where weed is not legal so i don't really get the real thing that often usually we are stuck to our delta eight gummies anyway so my neighbor invited me over and was like do you want to hit the gravity bomb sure why not i hit it twice and then i was higher than giraffe pussy so i had to go back downstairs before i forgot how to walk Walk downstairs to my apartment, um, and then it's about nighttime, so I get in the bed, and I'm like, you know what would make this feeling even better? If I just had a good nut right now. So what do I do? I pull out my uh, pocket pussy that I got from Walmart for $20. It's a self-stroker. It's blue. And next time, I'll splurge and get one on Adam and Eve, uh, code viral. Um, but that's what I got for now. Anyway, so I'm, you know, going at it, as you do, rubbing one out. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's one of those toes curling, back arching. I am on next level. I'm seeing stars, tight nut. Okay? I'm like, holy shit. That was the best fucking nut I've ever had in my life. Wake up the next morning. I didn't even come. So I don't know what the fuck that was. Might have been the gravity bomb. But, you know, there was no evidence of an actual nut. Um, So woke up with blue balls and no nut. But you know what? In the moment, best one yet. Still hadn't figured that phenomenon out. So let me know if you know uh, what that's about. Um, I have no idea. Oh, yeah. I want to fucking hang out with him. I know. And I have two, two things to say. Two facts. The fact that he said there was no evidence of a nut is <laughs> hilarious. What like if he cleaned it up? Like he woke up and was looking for it, I okay? Know. Second thing, the fact that Walmart sells pocket pussies. Oh, yeah, Target. I was surprised when I went in there. They That's have, news to me. Yeah, they're locked up. I though. posted on my story a couple weeks. No, they weren't. They were out f- oh. for the, anybody to grab. Over-the-counter <laughs> pocket pussies. Um <laughs> Hold on. And Hold clit, su- clit suckers, huh? dildos, just, yeah, they're called, um, they, they're they called a funny fucking name, too. Like, oh. a good one. Slider or something. Wow. Stop. That's great. Chelsea. One-stop shop. Now they have it all. I know. He said higher than giraffe pussy. High, he got higher than giraffe pussy. Let me tell you a story about when I got super high once and masturbated. I was in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. <clears throat> Gosh, who was there? Libby. Uh, a few people there. We had we went to Broken Boat, <clears throat> stayed in the cabin, and I got, this was several years ago, I got so high. 
that we were in the hot tub and I just was, I got so horny. Like I'm talking, I had to get out and go and go masturbate. I got out and I told everybody what I was doing, but I didn't feel safe. So I said, as I was getting out of the hot tub, I remember going, please keep me from drowning. Please, I don't want to drown in this hot tub. And everybody's like, you're okay, you're okay. I go, I have to go masturbate. Went to my bedroom, put in my earphones, put on Waylon Jennings, and blasted it. I'm talking not a normal way to listen to music. I blasted it so loud that it was hurting my ears, but yet I did not turn it down. Because I thought, because I thought the louder this Waylon Jennings songs is, the harder I'm going to nut. So I just laid there and started masturbating with eyes closed, Waylon Jennings in the background. And after a few minutes, I couldn't nut. And I got frustrated, so I got up, walked outside. The music was still on in my head, blaring. Walked outside, and I don't. They said I started screaming. I I can't nut because I was trying to scream over the over the music. I can't nut. I'm trying to nut, and I can't. And I was like, sh- everybody was like, take out your earphone. You're screaming. You're screaming. So that was probably the wildest masturbation story I've got. What the hell? The fucking ear pl- The you never do that, do you? No. That is strange. But when you are higher than giraffe pussy, I as he I said, usually just think I'm dying. I go look in the mirror and say I'm okay. Oh fuck, dude. Yeah, it's bad. That's why I can't smoke weed anymore. Oh, I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna drown in that hot tub. It it was probably like two feet. <laughs> right. I was for sure I was gonna drown. That's the night you posted on your Snapchat. Oh my! That you were smoking pot, and our cousin was like better get that no. off of the internet no oh, he, he didn't po- he didn't tell me that i was smoking pot i had posted my titties on snapchat oh maybe that was it i had oh, made an accident no i had <laughs> this was this is way before the community guidelines were bad bad i had made becky my friend becky i go here i go post a video of me and she's like okay and we were in the hot tub naked and she start she started rolling and i stood up under in water i go whoa <laughs> And shook my titties. And five minutes later, my cousin calls. Male. I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. He's calling. And you were high? High as fuck. And he was like, hey, uh, you might want to take your titties off Snapchat. Mom and dad follow you. So? And I go, oh, yeah. (laughs) You're right. Okay. (laughs) There's still people that have that screenshotted. I I used to post people's tits on there all the time. My tits. Oh, yeah. I would put, like. People were buying these bracelets from me, and I would send me pictures of their dicks with my bracelets around them. I'd post that, not even thinking, like, yeah, you grow. You truly grow as a human with age. Right. Because I look back, and I'm like, dude, I can't believe I was just letting loose like that on Snapchat. Yeah. People do grow and change. Yeah, <laughs> give them a chance. Yeah, give people a chance. You know, if they say one thing stupid or do one thing stupid, don't. Cancel them for the rest of their lives and re- come on, you guys. Let's chill. People learn and grow. Mm-hmm. You know, so. and you can't fucking grow without being stupid. Right. That is true. That's smart. That is true. Brett, what are you thinking about? You're he's oh, like, <laughs> he did the puffer fit, dude. <laughs> well, because we're sitting here talk we're sitting yeah. here talking and I look at Brett and Brett's going like looking off into the distance, really uh-huh. thinking deep. What were you thinking about? Well, I was thinking about the time that I busted and I nothing came out. That's true. And he said it was the best nut of his yeah. life. I forgot about that one. Yeah. That was when I had my finger up your ass, though. I know. That's what I was thinking. Did he have a finger up his butt? or? So, you orgasmed with no nut. Yeah. Screamed. Wait. Wait. I thought the neighbors could hear. Wait. Why'd you scream? It was <laughs> just powerful. The, the nut. <laughs> and I thought I was done. But then I was like, wait. I, I was like, huh? Wow. Yeah. It was just powder or yeah, whatever. It was a little bubbly, you know? Y'all talk about that a lot without... Re- y'all need to redo that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we tried and nothing... It didn't work? No. It was like... It's been a while. Yeah. It's that was been the, a while. That was the best nut of your life? Yeah. Wow. Because then nothing? I got to nut again. After, mm. Like for real, after that. Very interesting. Gosh, that's amazing. Thank you for calling in, honeys. If anybody else has that... Has had the best nut with no cream, then... Don't ever say, best nut with no cream again. What would you have said? Probably the same thing. 
<laughs> All right. Next call. Creamy. Hey there, ladies. I'm um, Misty calling from North Carolina, so I have two questions. Um, how many times a day do both of you ladies think that you fart? And my second question is, what is a horrible smell that most people completely hate that you actually like? I will be waiting on your answers. Thank you, honey. Love you, sugars. Love you, sugars. Love you. Ooh, how many times do we think we fart a day? What's the average? What do they say the average person farts like twenty, like fifty times a day? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it could be. I don't know. I'm a sleeper though, so y- yeah. yeah. It, do so, those count? So it says humans uh, pass gas <clears throat> between thirteen and twenty-one times a day. Sounds about right. Hmm. I would say for me, I'm more of a night an evening nighttime farter so i do most evening I, nighttime farter i do most of my farts in bed while i'm sleeping that's well, true or right after a good meal you, you have some good it, ones in the evenings yeah and bet's a morning farter yeah too, yeah first thing sit. really yeah. i'm mm. an evening person because i sit funky all day long like i don't know how to explain i like squat kind of all day mm-hmm. And it, I think it sucks some air. Mm. And then on the couch, I'll just let loose. So I'm a nighter, yeah. too. Well, look, it is, right now it's 3.18 p.m. We're filming this at 3.18. I woke up at 7.30, and I haven't farted today yet. Really? So, but last night, right before bed, oh, my God. <laughs> I, I was going to bed, and I let out two farts. Loud. That I thought for sure everybody in the house would hear, and I was in my bathroom that's what gets oh. me when when i'm in my room and i fart the kids <laughs> like in the whole completely uh-huh. other end of the house uh-huh. they'll be like oh my yeah. god yeah you and have I'm those like, deep ones that? maggie i know deep so, but i would say i would say 13 to 20 is probably average yeah, yeah. that's yeah. right that's right yeah maybe sometimes less sometimes more i would say i'm around that yeah 15 to 16 you know we're very healthy around here I nothing feels better than just like a long fart and a deep one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it r- truly feels like good. Oh yeah, because you're releasing. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You feel lighter, a little oh. bit healthier. Right. Hel- yeah. Healthier. Getting all that <laughs> shit out of your body. Uh huh. And then the smell, maybe the smell of my own fart. Yeah. Sometimes if she said a horrible smell that nobody else likes. My farts aren't bad. Well, your people's farts to themselves. I don't enjoy my farts, but I don't hate my farts the way I hate other people's farts. Even if I know <laughs> that, even if I'm not sure if it's my fart or somebody else's, I like. I'm not going to risk liking the smell. <laughs> yeah. But if I know it's mine and you know, coming yeah. straight from down right. to up, I, I'll smell. What's a smell that I love? that people usually hate i think the average shit gas filling up gas i don't mind that smell i love the smell of gas and a skunk yeah i i, I wouldn't agree with that i don't i don't love it but i don't hate it um what the hell what about you brett uh i like the smell of my fingers you know. what huh after itching your after balls a little taint scratch Oh, Greg does that shit. Yeah. Uh, no. All man. right, let's let's uh yeah, we got to move on here cuz I'm getting that's pretty And you're not joking either, so that's no. yeah. 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 Sometimes though that like um smell right after the mayonnaise one, if it's my own like it I don't know. Where what are you talking about? The yeah. smell nobody <laughs> else would like. Uh, mayonnaise? Yeah. It's sometimes it's not bad to me. Are you talking about mayonnaise? Cream? No, like my pussy mm. smell. The the cream coming out of your the days out, a couple days after my period. I don't smell the cream that comes out of me, so I would not know what it smells like. It hits different when it lands on your pad. Oh <laughs> my god! Oh <laughs> my god! What? That's fucking nasty. <laughs> That's fucking this. gross. I know. And I know and I know if anybody else smells it, they'd fucking fall over. What's it smell like? I'll save one. No. Or just try to describe it to me. Ooh, like maybe like garlic bread. <laughs> oh what? Yeah. What the 
fuck? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So, thank right. you for calling in. <laughs> and, uh... What if we all go have Italian food after this? Nope. Oh, I wish with the, with, we with would. The big, with a big old basket of garlic bread. Olive Garden. I'm mm. going to think of that every time I eat garlic bread now. Mm. So, thank you. All right. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Love ya. <clears throat> Today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Man, when I find a good deal with Honey, I feel like almost like I won like a scratch off. You know that feeling you get when you like win something or, you know, like you're basically getting money for doing nothing. Oh, that's what it feels like. Thanks to Honey manually searching for coupons is a thing of the past listen honey is free okay it's absolutely free it's a shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds right to your cart you don't have anything to lose imagine you are shopping on one of your favorite sites when you check out the honey button appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons wait a few seconds as honey searches for coupons it can find for that site if honey finds a working coupon you'll watch the prices drop all right i do most all of my clothing shopping online because i'm a big gal and we all know places at the mall aren't really big gal friendly so there's a couple websites that i that was really good. That's that threw me off. You threw me off. Keep that in, Beth. Keep that in. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Sorry, she threw me off. Like I was saying, there's a couple websites that I love to get clothes from, and I don't even need to go on their website and try to get a code and try to try to get. I don't do none of that. Okay, I use Honey, and almost every time. I find a code and save money. Honey doesn't just work on desktops either. It works on your iPhone. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and dude, that's it. Save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. By getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash Viral. That's joinhoney.com slash viral. Hey, honey. Um, this is like my third time calling in, probably like in total. Just wanted to say, like, so y'all always are like, yeah, let your man watch porn, whatever. So I have something to say about this. So me and my man, like, I love him. This is a new relationship, you know. Like, we haven't been together for years, but it's been, like, like eight months. And so, like, I don't like him to look at other girls. Like, it makes me, like, feel insecure and, like, like I'm not enough. And, like, for me, like, I feel bad about it, but I just feel like him looking at other girls are, like, watching porn like with people that don't look like me like that for me is cheating and like he knows that and he doesn't and he doesn't complain about it or anything but like I just feel bad because you guys like always say you know uh let your man watch porn I have a couple things like I fuck him as much as he wants anytime he wants um I'll fuck his dick i like, I don't care if he masturbates. It's just, like, looking at other girls that don't look like me. And I'm not going to shame other women for, like, letting their, like, husbands or boyfriends do that. It's just, like, to me, uh, it, like, makes me feel bad about myself. And let me know if, like, it, like let me know if I'm being a bad girlfriend by doing, by, like, thinking it's cheating all right bye honeys love y'all love you honeys love you hey i think this is a good question i don't think you're a bad girlfriend i've also don't ever remember saying hey just let your man watch porn i've always said and felt i don't think 
that it's it's a problem or an issue unless it's a problem or an issue in your relationship. Yes. So you having a problem with it and feeling insecure is a problem. So therefore, I would definitely talk about that. I think that if, you know, if it becomes, how do I put it? Like, so, okay, my thing is, if Greg was to watch porn, I personally would not feel insecure about him seeing other girls. My issue is, if you watch in general, if you watch so much porn that it takes place of your intimate relationship with your partner, if your partner would rather masturbate and watch porn than have sex with you, that's a problem. Yes. Now, if you're having great sex, regular sex, and you don't feel insecure about your partner watching porn and they watch porn, that's great if that works for your relationship. That's wonderful. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's a problem. Yep. I can't really. That's, you said yeah. it all. Yeah. So I don't, I've never been like, oh, come on, ladies, just let your man watch porn. Hell no. If you don't care that he watches porn and he does it, cool. If that works for you. Yeah. As oh, long as he's still giving you the love right. you need. Right. Right. Oh, but if, if you feel like it's cheating and, and you feel insecure of him looking at other women, then that's a problem and he shouldn't be watching it and you should talk with him about that like you have. Like you're, I don't feel like you're crazy or, or wrong. Did she say if, it, if the other, like the porn stars don't look like her? Yeah. She says she doesn't like, she feels insecure because he's watching girls that don't look like her. Like, why are you watching girls that don't look like me? But you're with me. Yeah. And that makes sense. Yeah. That makes total sense. There are men and or women that don't want porn in their relationship and they don't have it. That's great. If that works for you, if you don't mind porn and your relationship is still great with it, that's great too. You just, in a relationship, you just have to respect each other's needs. Exactly. That's all. That. Oh, and I've, I remember talking about this way early in the pod. Like, mm-hmm. I, I'm okay with porn unless if in a lot of, and we've talked about, we've had a lot of people call in mm-hmm. that say, you know, my partner, male or female. Watches porn but doesn't fuck me. Right. We haven't had sex in months, years, but they masturbate to porn. That's a problem. Yep. <laughs> that is a problem. Um, it's whatever you're comfortable with. I do not think you're crazy. There's a lot of women out there that don't want their men watching porn. And there's a lot of men who don't watch porn, believe it or not. A lot do. Most do. But I've, I mean, I don't want to name names, but there's, there's someone, you know, who's a famous comedian. He talks about not watching porn a lot. I wonder if guys, I feel like girls get more jealous when their boyfriends watch porn than I wonder how men feel about their significant others watching porn. Yeah, I guess it's like, I guess it's it's subjective because we've had callers come in that say they remember that one caller that her either boyfriend or husband did not want her masturbating, did not want her having toys. Yeah, and it's like I guess it just depends on the person and the relationship. Very true. But it's, whatever works. I mean. I feel like you shouldn't gatekeep someone from masturbating. Like, I'm not going to tell Greg he can't masturbate because he's not going to fucking tell me I can't masturbate. But porn can be an issue. And people get addicted to porn and fantasize, and then their imagination becomes so much that just regular sex might not be enough for them, and that's also a problem. So it's just like... You know, it's all about managing just. Right. And it's hard, too, because you're like, oh, fuck. He's seeing that. Now do I have to open up my anus and fucking choke on a hamburger at the same time? It's like you feel like you have to compete, Mm -hmm. but you don't. You're just. That's all a fuck. Porn is literally a fucking scene. Like, yeah, they. Oh, yeah it, it's a show like 100 percent. even being on set it kind of just makes you realize like how fake shit it not porn sets but just sets yeah. in general yeah like it's all a show they're working absolutely and to each their own if you're okay with it great that's good for you if you're not honeys then you you shouldn't be 
you shouldn't be forced to just because some other chick is like, oh, who cares if you're man? You shouldn't force yourself if that's if you set up a boundary and that's makes you feel bad in your relationship. Don't put up with it. End of story. Yep. I don't think you're crazy at all. I feel like a lot of people deal with this. Oh, I've been yeah. seeing. I've been seeing a lot of pro porn versus anti porn um, TikToks on my for you page a lot. Yeah, and then it goes. There's so many ways to look at it because it could be like a religion thing or feeling bad or just even feeling bad as a human watching it looking at people like an object there's everyone looks at porn a different way yeah i think if you're addicted to it and it's somehow taking away from other parts of your life it's not good with anything but especially porn for sure so yeah that's it i'm glad we got that chill i got i'm glad we got that you know covered i don't want her thinking that i've been sitting here saying well let your man watch porn because not at all I don't think I've ever said that. But you're not crazy, honeys, and we love you. Love you. My life can be a little hectic sometimes, you know, doing the podcast, editing, social life, then, you know, just regular, keeping up with everyday tactics. Thankfully, Daily Harvest does more so I can do less. Think stress-free meals delivered straight to your doorstep. That means I don't even have to think about making a meal, the ingredients that goes with it, how long to cook it. Daily Harvest delivers smoothies, flatbreads, harvest bowls, soups, lattes, and more. Daily Harvest works directly with farmers to source out the best ingredient. Built on organic fruits plus vegetables. And they also freeze them at peak ripeness to lock in the flavor and nutrients, and they never use artificial preservatives or ingredients. As you all know, the flatbread is my personal favorite, but the zucchini minestrone soup is starting to be one of my top two. Daily Harvest truly does help me out because I'm doing crafts or working all day long, and to just plop something in the microwave or to just make a smoothie real quick saves me a lot of time and clean up. By supporting farmers who invest in practices that increase biodiversity and improve the health of our soil, and by delivering food in recyclable and compostable packaging where possible, Daily Harvest does the work. I eat and enjoy. It's a win-win. Let Daily Harvest do more so you can do less. Go to dailyharvest.com viral to get up to $40 off your first box. That's dailyharvest.com slash viral to get up to $40 off your first box. Dailyharvest.com slash viral. Hey, honey. Purple here. Well, I just wanted to share with you something that really pisses me off. I hate when I see a man holding his phone with his shoulder. He makes him look like a fucking pussy. (laughs) So I want to know. Does that piss you off? And also, what's pissing you guys off today? Love you, honey. Bye. You know, now, I've never noticed that, but now that you point it out, yeah, that kind of does piss me off. <laughs> a guy holding their phone like like this, like yeah. they don't have a fucking hand. Or just anyone, I feel like, not even a guy. It, it kind of makes me mad when a woman does it, too. Yeah. It's I, almost like they're. it's too chaotic. Can I say, I love... When little things that don't matter piss us off. <laughs> like somebody holding their phone on with their shoulder. Because it's like, why does that matter? But it things piss you off. I can't think of anything that's been pissing me off lately. I can't think of anything. Uh, What's been pissing yes. you off lately? Maybe just like when people clip their toenails, mm. like um, in my bed. Uh oh, Brett. <laughs> Brett, what what's been going on? I had a little long the other day, and I cut one, and it's all and it got lost. No, I found it. Yeah. It got lost. I love that sound, though. Maggie, ever I get so many DMs from people being like, "Oh my God, you need to do the what's pissing off Maggie today segment. We need to get a little song for that going. What what's been pissing you off? What pisses you off? Oh man, a lot pisses a her lot. Off. I don't even know where to begin. Right. A lot pisses her off. One thing that's pissing me off is when Brett twists his mustache. <laughs> and he was just doing and that. And he's just sitting over here twisting really? it. I know. It's fucking annoying. I want to like 
pull it I'm off your face. I'm not twisting it. I'm just I'm framing it. Maggie, he does so. that like the entire time while he's driving. He has to carry his coffee in his hand <laughs> the whole fucking time. Chelsea, you hate when he does this too. Yeah. He carries yeah. his coffee, twists his mustache, <laughs> and nods his head. like. And it's all shiny and shit. Oh, yeah. Man. And then not all of it's twisted. So there's some that's like, I don't know. It's, oh. it's Like if you're going to twist it, you need to twist it right. Yeah, he twists it. He twists it forward too. Like he wants it's it to not- look like a reverse mustache. Hey, Brett, is Am there? I supposed to twist can it we away? shave it? Oh. Is there anything that I do that pisses you off? Uh, I mean, I'd have to think about it. I guess, but I nothing, just off the top. Well, I was thinking uh, one <laughs> thing. Well, it's like you know how when someone asks you to, they hand you their phone or whatever, uh-huh. and there's like a little crust on the uh-huh. screen. I think that's kind of. Do I do that? Or usually no, in general. No, oh. Just in general. Just yeah. a dirty phone screen. Oh, dirty yeah. phone screen. Hmm. Okay. People's phones are kind of nasty if you think about <gasps> oh, it. Oh, I clean. I take a cloth and pure alcohol and rub my phone down every couple days. Me too. It, yeah. It. The thought of of oh, it grosses me out. I, I get I get it good. Because we'll be shitting on TikTok. Yeah, you know? I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> we everyone brings their phone in the bathroom. Yeah. Wipes their ass and then grabs their phone. I, see, I down. don't. See, I don't. No. Nope. If I have if I have my phone in the bathroom, if I'm shitting, I will before I wipe, put my phone and I'll scoot it to the sink, and then I'll wipe my ass and I will go and scrub my hands before I ever pick up my phone again. Mm-hmm. Dang. Sometimes I even skip the wash in the hands part. So. Oh, uh, uh-uh. uh, no, ma'am. Do, no. Do, do. There's a lot of things that have been pissing me off, though. I like guess. what? Just everything. Yeah. Just like li- just little things like that. Is that true, Brett? Oh, I, I mean, I just thought it was funny. She said everything pisses her off. Uh, like the toenails in the bed. Yeah. The toenails, and then also when you like see a plant kind of dying, that kind of yeah. will piss you off. Like yeah. one leaf. I've got you're a like, couple of those. Fuck. Yeah. Just looking at it. Brett, why do you look tan? Uh, maybe it's the white <laughs> shirt. I bet uh, that's it. Kind of always just been a little tan. Okay. I love that we just are bashing Brett on his appearance. <laughs> no, that was not a bad thing. Yeah, We're like, I, I just meant, tan is great. I'm like, have you been outside extra? Or? Did you guys ever go tanning? Oh, like, God, yes. Gee. Oh, yeah, that Playboy like sticker was on, oh, my, yeah. was on my fucking hips. Yep. We tanned in the tanning salon, and I was talking to Libby about this yesterday. It's funny oh. you brought that up. But there was a big sign in my tanning salon. And it said, like, please do not pee in the trash cans. Whoa. I remember those. And yeah. then, and then that was in Marietta, Oklahoma. And then I moved to Durant, Oklahoma. And when I tanned there, there were signs there, too. I guess people just piss in trash cans? Yeah. I wonder if, like, go. the machine, the tanning machine <laughs> makes you just have to piss. And people don't want to run out because they're naked, so. Yeah, you got that timer, you know, goes off and it just starts and you're not ready. I'm so glad I don't tan. I, I I don't even know why I did that shit. That was so stupid. I just did it a couple times. Remember, it was like $3 per session. Yeah. Now it's so fucking expensive. Oh, my gosh. I never did it, like, religiously. Me I did it if I had something to get, quote, ready for. Mm-hmm. Prom. You know, shit like that. Like, I, you know, so tan. weird. And I never got super, super tan. I would just get a little. But I did go every once in a while. And I'm now I'm like, oh. Uh-uh. Would you put the stickers on? Oh, yeah, I did the stickers for sure. <gasps> Big time sticker guy. It is kind of cute, though. Yeah, it is. Just not the cancer part, but. Right. And the smell of your rotting flesh burning. Oh, I would put on so much of that, like Bahama. See, I never use lotion. <laughs> My friend's mom owned a tanning uh, machine in the house. So we would wow. just, yeah, we'd lather up that fucking Damn. tanning. Stuff. They had they had money, dude. If yeah, you got a tanning did. bed in your house, you got money. Yeah. yeah, that's the mom's job, tanning, and she cuts hair. Oh wow, wow, interesting. Mm-hmm. Did you tan in the tanning bed, Brett? Oh yeah. <laughs> it was you know I had to look good on, yeah. the, on the court. <laughs> right, right, right. Jim right. tan laundry. Jim tan yeah, laundry. Exactly. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Love ya. <clears throat> hey. I was just calling to see what your opinion was on those tongues that have deep cracks in them. Do you like a smooth tongue or do you like those little crackled tongues? Oh, yeah. Oh, I know about those deep cracked tongues, daddy. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Crack yeah. tongue, daddy. <clears throat> That's, That's such funny. a funny question because I've noticed that Greg has a deep crack in the middle of his tongue, but only when he moves his tongue a certain way. It's not just there all the time. No, and it used to never be. And this was probably a few months ago. I, it's a, whenever he's talking, if he if he moves his tongue a certain way, oh man, you see a deep crack. And I'll go, I'll go, move your tongue back to where it was. He's like, what are you talking about? I go. You have a deep crack. And he's like, what? And he'll try to like move it again and it can't, he can't get it. It's just when it moves a certain way. Hmm. But the cracks that just stay there. Yeah. It, well, people can't help it. I know, but. It pisses you off? No, it doesn't piss me off. I just, I notice it though yeah. sometimes. Honestly, before Greg's crack, I've never even given tongue cracks a thought. I feel like mainly when the tongue has a crack, usually the tongue's really white, too. Oh, really? See, I think there could be a benefit to the tongue crack. Because you get, if he's down there slobbing, and he gets your little clit nestled in that. <laughs> Shut ooh, up. If he gets it, It's not a hole, though. But if he gets it nestled right in between that crack and just moves the tongue up and down and your clit's going up and down the crack, that could be great because you're getting all sides of the, of the clit. Contours. Yeah. I feel like it could be really rough though, like sandpaper. I, that's when I'm I'm thinking of a cracked tongue like that. I feel like if the tongue is cracked, you got some stank ass breath. Mm-hmm. No, do and know, I don't know. Do you know what she's talking I'm, about? Yeah, I'm thinking me. I think me and Maggie are thinking of a different type of crack. I think you are. A crack is just the way it's sh- like you have a the shape. It's not really a hygiene thing. You could have a clean tongue and have a crack. I'm thinking of a cracked tongue with a bunch of uh, fucking bumps on the back no. of the tongue, maybe even. I um, mean, that's a sta- that's its own thing. But no, no, I've no. seen tongues like that are, uh, though, like buds. just a lot of cracks, deep cracks. Yeah, but what you, were you thinking? You can have clean a clean hygiene, a clean mouth, a clean tongue mm-hmm. with cracks. No, yeah. I know you can, but I just feel like it would stink. Well, yeah, not if you kept it clean. I mean, look how many crevices we have in our bodies, armpits, pussies, and they all stink. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you're right, and they all stink. <laughs> no matter how fucking hard we try. You're right, never mind. Maggie, what did you think when you saw a cracked tongue with that guy? It wasn't like anybody I was with, but I, like I've just seen it on people. Hmm. So Yeah, before, and I think I noticed it on Greg because I've been with him for so long, and I've never noticed it before. So it was just one of those things that I kind of was like, oh, huh, where'd that come from type of thing. But besides that, I've never even noticed people's, cracks watch our tongues get cracked now oh, oh damn it, yeah get i'm ready. serious get ready get ready for your tongue cracking get ready we're going viral. viral well how does that happen though do you think chewing what like do you think a lot of people chew on their tongues bite them uh, brett can you look up why, erosion why maybe. people's tongues yeah, cracks brett, come on. maybe Brett, come on, man. You got to do better. Yeah, okay. just he just sits there now. <laughs> Why do people's <laughs> tongues, crack. tongues crack? All right, what does it say? Here we go. Doctors don't know why tongues okay. crack. Okay, all right. Well, it's believed to be hereditary. Okay. That's good to know. Well, we answered that. Mm-hmm. Good uh, one. If you have cracks in your tongue, uh, there's no like, there's no cause for concern. Um, okay. All right, well, we well, got our answers. Hey, Brett, also look up what the toys from Target are called, please. It's bugging me. Sex toys from Target? Yeah. Pocket or was pussy. it Walmart? Pocket pussy at Target. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I saw them at um, Target. The what I, I wanted to remember what it was called. Now, does it, say, does it say pocket pussy on the Walmart website? Oh, that's a plant. Target. Uh... I was just surprised that they were out there free on the <coughs> shelf. You know? Free? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just like all by the oh, Ollie. Yeah, they were sitting there by the freaking Ollie vitamins or whatever. I'm looking at Pocket Pussy Walmart. Target sex toys <laughs> section. But listen, guys, always order from Adam and Eve. Yeah, fuck Target and right. Walmart. Okay. Mittery Egg Masturbator. Mittery Egg masturbator, anal pocket pussy, masturbation cup, anus for men. Trendy. That's Walmart.com. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Anus, um, what? Anal pocket pussy, masturbation cup, anus for men. That's what it says. Damn. See, I figured if it was on Walmart, it'd say like, you know how like 
a adult massager, mm-hmm. you know, but no, man, they're going straight for it. There it is. Walmart uh, under keyword pussy. I'm surprised they <laughs> keyword pussy. I mean, keyword. because kids are in there. I know. I know. Stro- How are they strokers and adult toys? Oh, because yeah, maybe it was called. I think strokers? it might be called a stroker. Because look, if you go to a sex toy shop, y- you have to show an ID to get in, and they have it blacked out. Even yeah. at Spencer's, you know, they have those beads up. Right. What if you're shopping at Walmart and the kid looks over and they're like, "What is that?" That's very true. Mm-hmm. I was surprised for sure. I mean, at least lock them up. Especially when they have sex toy shops so discreet. You know? Hmm. Very their, interesting. Their own building. Yeah. Right. They must have had some competition. How yeah. are they getting away with all that? People must be buying pocket pussies at Walmart. Don't know. Because they yeah. were like, man, we're missing out on they're, a good market. They're like, Adam and Eve is getting way too much business. Right. Mm-hmm. Put in the strokers. Right. 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 Hell yeah. Damn. All right. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Love ya. Who wants better sex? If you just thought to yourself, I do. Well, that's great because you are in the right spot. The best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off almost any one item. Plus, free shipping, which includes rush processing. And Adam and Eve care about your privacy, so if you don't want family members or your kids or just anyone around to know that you have bought a dildo, a clit sucker, an anal bead, a cock ring, lube, then Adam and Eve will offer discreet shipping for you. We are all about doing better here on the Viral Podcast, so bring pleasure and more satisfaction into your bedroom today. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or just anything you desire. Just enter offer code VIRAL at checkout. That's VIRAL, V-I-R-A-L at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to the podcast, so be sure to use this code VIRAL to get your discount. 100% free shipping and get it fast with rush processing. Code VIRAL. Oh, yeah. Hey, honeys. Do good or liar here. I was calling to tell you my wild story. So we had a neighbor who had a dog, and it was this cute little dog, and the neighbor was never home, never took care of the dog. I would always hear the dog coming in and out of the doggy door for days on end, like the owner would not be home. He would not take care of this dog. The dog's fur was all matted and, like, I tried calling and getting the dog taken away, and nothing would happen. Anyway, so fast forward to Super Bowl Sunday. We order pizza from our favorite pizza place, and our favorite pizza place happens to have the sweetest family delivering pizzas on Sunday nights. We would talk to them every other week. So they come to deliver our pizza, and they walk up holding this dude's dog. And they're like, we saw this dog on the, in the middle of the street. Do you know who it is? Whose it is? And me and my husband were like, no, we don't know whose dog that is. And they were like, we're gonna take it home and take care of it and love on him. And I'm like, yeah, you should. He looks like he's a really sweet dog. I mean, this dog was like emaciated. So yeah, we gave away our neighbor's dog to a nicer family, and I have no regrets. Love you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love Sometimes you, you have to do stuff like that. Yeah. If she was for sure that the dog was being neglected, eh, you just, yeah, let him take it. Positive gaslighting. He probably didn't even notice. Oh, the, the owner. Yeah. yeah. Oh. If you have an animal and you just do not take care of it, give it to somebody who will. Yeah. Because it's so sad. To, That's very sad. Like a fucking matted up dog that just well, doesn't fact, get any attention and damn. The fact that she kept notes of this dog being, you know, not taken care of 
And then and then the pizza deli- pizza delivery guy? Yeah. Just happened to Oh walked up with it. Do you know whose dog this is? No. I probably wouldn't feel bad either. Good good for you. Yeah, you did the right thing. Now, if it's I mean, if you know that the dog's being taken care of, yeah, of course don't do that. <laughs> but it was neglected. Right. Needed Aww. a family. Aww. I'm trying to think. We used to when we were kids, all of our dogs came from like around town that we Yeah. You know? Just just Hopping. whatever we found sugar, on the streets. Sugar was found on the streets. Yeah. I think All, Gizzy was. Gizzy. We had a lot. Yeah. They were always selling or like giving away or selling puppies at like our grocery stores or gas Arc- stations. Parking lots. Always. Yeah. Yep. Now it's all over Facebook. Come get a dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn, that's wild though. Well, I'm glad it has a good home. Me too. Hey, honey's good home here. You need a good home. Oh. And I hope that it was just unmatted, the yeah. dog. Yeah. They're taking good care of it. Thank you for calling <laughs> in, honeys. What are y'all laughing about over there? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Well. Well, that was suspicious. I was, just, I was just thinking about something. Oh, God. All right. What was it, Maggie? Nothing. All right. <laughs> no telling. All right. Next call. Hi there. This is Irene. I'm a female, 65 years old. I have a UTI. I'm miserable. I'm sick. I'm waiting on my prevention to be delivered. And I just thought maybe you guys could give me a little update on what I could do to relieve the symptoms I'm having. Let me know. Talk to you later. Bye. I love Irene. Irene, I'm so sorry. A fucking UTI. Irene, 65, female, has a UTI. Needs advice. Needs advice. Well, I am not a medical professional, and I've never had a UTI. Would Maggie gets them? Don't you get them? I've never had one. Oh. Beth gets them. Oh, Beth gets UTIs. Yeah. Is that when it like burns your when you pee? Okay, um, cranberry juice I've is like that. pure, pure, one hundred percent cranberry juice. It's really hard to get down, but. That helps, and then they also make, um, like, these pills that will turn your pee red. I thought I started oh. my period, but turns out it didn't. Because I had, sometimes if I get cummed in and don't pee immediately, yeah. I've had one, I think, I don't know, is it called a UTI or a yeast infection? They're di- those are very different. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> A UTI, an infection in any part of the urinary system, the kidneys, bladder, or urethria. Urinary tract infections are more commonly in women. They usually occur in the bladder or urethra, but more serious infections inf- infections involve the kidneys. So it's, it is an infection. Yeah, I don't, I've never had one. I have been so lucky to never have a UTI. Now watch me get one. Because when we first started this podcast, the first few episodes, we talked about yeast infections. And I had never had one. I'm 35 years old. I said, I've never had a yeast infection. Wouldn't you know it? Two weeks later, get my first yeasty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeasty. You should have knocked on the wood. It was hurting you too. Dang. Oh, it burning. Was, when, it, don't oh. those burn when you pee too? That's why yeah. I didn't know the difference. If like, I don't want to say I had a UTI if it was a yeasty. But but was it just the uthera burning or the whole pussy? Just like the freaking hole, but also it would feel like I constantly had to go pee when I didn't. And that's the worst motherfucking feeling. UTI. You had a UTI. Okay, then I've only had that one time. Take those fucking cranberry, the, seriously, the cranberry juice that's just pure. And then mm. the pills. I don't fucking know what they're called, though. <sighs> and it, then stay away from sugar yeah. for sure. Yeah, and then pee after you have cum in you. Definitely, yeah. Irene, if you are getting cummed in, Oh, yeah, and she sa- she sounds like a broad that gets cummed in. Yeah, she's taking it. For yeah, sure. for sure. Just be safe out there, honeys, and be careful. And, and oh, God, I know it's painful. You just, I hope, you, I hope you're all right, honeys. And if it doesn't go away, maybe you could go see a doctor. I hear, though, too, um... When I would get them, also is when soap, that's why I don't use soap, remember? Because fucking, I'm too sensitive to that stuff. So switch up your soap Mm. or just don't even rub it near the hole or just stay on the outside of the lips for sure. Yeah. And maybe don't even take a bath. Don't take a bath. 
Honeys. Sorry you're in pain. Oh, my yeast infection was one of the worst things I've ever felt in my life. So, But didn't it didn't feel like you had to pee for real? Just burning? Right. Yeah. Itchy or no? Yes. I mean, I was screaming in pain. That's how bad it was. Mine wasn't itchy. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the yeast is a fungus. Yeah. UTI is a bacteria. Hmm. Does it say uh, the anything That's of how the, to treat it? Uh, no, I didn't. Irene, hop You're on. right on the cranberry, yeah. That's hop cool. on TikTok, and I guarantee you type in UTI remedies, and oh. then there's actual people going through the same thing you are with probably some really good tips. That's very true. Good call on that. And thank you for calling us, Irene. You're a badass bitch. Oh, yeah. Love you. This is the last <gasps> question. Woo! Hey, honey. Surgeon here. So I am a ophthalmologist. Um, basically, I'm a surgeon that operates on the eye. I love it. I love everything about the eyeball. But one thing I love about being a surgeon is we are the dirtiest, raunchiest, filthiest mouth people you will ever meet. So when we're in the operating room and the patient is a completely under, you bet your ass that it's my room, your podcast will be on and we'll be listening to it. And it is hilarious because I'll be sitting there and I'll be saying, you know what, I really would like to try a dick like that, a uh, 15 blade, please. And I'm having them pass instruments while I'm talking about cocks because of you guys. Also, when I enter the OR, I do the Tammy nod. And I love it. So I was wanting to know what the story was behind the nod. Oh, and one more thing. I try my hardest not to call my patients Deborah when their name is Deborah because of Tammy Bangs. Please keep doing what you're doing from the OR. We love you. Bye-bye. Oh. Love you. Day made, dude. Shout out to surgeons. Oh, shout out to surgeons. Big time. Good call on shouting out to surgeons. You guys work hard, long hours. You 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 give people surgeries. I mean, and you have to be meticulous, and the fuck they're fucking. Oh man, the eye is on the line, dude. The fact that you're a surgeon, you play the podcast during <laughs> during surgeries, and will say, "Oh yeah, I want to try a dick like that." That just shows that there are people like us everywhere, even in the professional field. Even in the professional field, everyone. It does not, you don't have to be, oh, I can't say this because my parents are on my Facebook. I can't do it. No, 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 no. Everyone's, let's keep it real. Let's be, let's be real people. Everybody, let's talk about real shit and be real people. Even your parents are taking dicks and calling names. Big time. Big time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The Tammy nod. <laughs> I love this. If you don't know what she's talking about, um, before I start a mukbang or a video, I'll do just kind of like a little, like a little Tammy nod, like. Hey guys, Tammy here. And here's how that started. I, d- I think I did a Taco Bell mukbang and I did it randomly once without even thinking about it. Didn't even realize I did it. And I was reading the comments and people were like, oh my God, that thing you did with your head was so funny. Oh my God, what the hell was that? Why did you do th-? And I was like, what are they talking about? And I went back and watched it. I was like, why did I do that? But people loved it. It's So I kept... <laughs> So I kept doing it, and that people just love. It makes no sense. It serves no purpose. That's the best part. Right. Things that don't make sense is the funniest. Right. It makes no sense. There's nothing There's nothing important about it. I couldn't imagine Tammy without the fucking head nod. The head nod. It's the best. The head nod. People will ask sometimes in the comments, like, why do you do the head thing? And I, I always just respond, just getting ready for the video. Yeah, it prepares you. It's it's Tammy's way of starting the video. It's so silly. I love it. Imagine you are getting worked on and you like wake up and you just hear like Todd and Damien fucking. Oh, stop. Like you, you know, some people do come out of their surgeries yeah. for a second. And it's us going, oh yeah, <laughs> that's fucking funny. That'd be terrifying. And honeys, thank you for watching Tammy Bangs. Yeah. Uh, everyone in this room. She's right guys- about the... Deborah thing yeah. because even if I see a name like that, I you'll think I don't even think of Deborah. Yeah, Deborah. It's Deborah. Deborah. Um hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we're gonna start season three soon. So that is on my Patreon. If you're not on my page there's thirty five episodes up. If you're not on my Patreon, it's also on Tammybangs.com. 
Paige plays Tanya. Tanya, and you have one of the funniest fucking. My role characters. is to just be very, very monotone. Like, yeah, I'll be like, uh, "Hey, Tanya, uh, did you get? Did I get any calls?" Maybe. Very, it's and it's funnier if you watch. <laughs> we're we're trying. May, maybe. Brett plays cameraman. Brett does a great job. Thank you. And Maggie plays Candy. Yeah, Chelsea will always say the most. Re- well, Tammy will always say the most ridiculous stuff to me, or I'll just be like, "Hey, Steven Spielberg called like the most crazy things, but in the lowest voice." Oh, it's so funny. And I do the oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, dude. I can't wait to start season three. That's one to me. That's one of the fun funnest things that I do, and I hope that all y'all will be in season three. If you have time. If you're lucky. <gasps> just kidding. Honey. What if we're just like, nah. Well, I'd replace y'all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love filming it. I think it's It's so fun. much fun, dude. Mm-hmm. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, what a great pod. Thank you all for being here and listening and just driving in your car. Be safe. Yep. And yep. Just tell people hi today. If you see them out, you know, put your head up for a second. Just say hello to somebody. Say hey. It'll make your day. Yeah. I was doing that to people at Lowe's and saying hey, and they would look, turn around like, <laughs> what? what the fuck? <laughs> somebody talked. Aww. Sad. We all need to communicate to each other. Yeah. Sometimes I want to be left alone, but a, a nice hi every once in a while would be great. Yeah. Just a good morning. Yeah. It could make somebody's day and you wouldn't even know it. Right. Exactly. We love you, and don't forget to call us. Do not forget to call us. Because our number is 442-777-3331. And always remember that you are doing great. You are looking good. And And fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral. Tacos.